Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishu Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Dr. Kumar slams Kevin Samuels and says that his impact and work was divisive and destructive to the black community. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, proof that modern women, proof, you gotta watch this one the whole way through, proof that modern women love men who lie to them. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. No more wasting time. Let's get it. I didn't support it at all. Okay. I thought it was divisive. I thought it was very Eurocentric in his approach to criticism. Hmm. I think <clears throat> his expectations for women were very superficial in terms of what was important. There was a heavy focus on how much you make and how good you look. No woman is going to look good forever. No. They're going to get pregnant. They're going to get older. You, to me. Hold on a second. So Dr. Umar just said no woman is going to look good forever. I don't know. Does that sound a little bit like Kevin Samuels sort of said that? <laughs> Did he not remind women on countless occasions that they're on a biological clock? What are you talking about, bro? Put down the tea. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. He telling women that you are too fat or too small or too broke and that's the reason why you don't have a man that is psychopathological and it is destructive to our community. I did not agree with his approach at all and the fact that he did have a lot of people who did speaks to how decadent and speaks to how self-hating we can be as a people. And I'll be honest with you, I think a lot of the women who supported Kevin Samuels supported him because they don't like other black women and they enjoyed sitting back on their mm. couch, sipping their tea and watch this black man tear black women's self-esteem to shreds. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So Dr. Umar had a lot to say. Bottom line is he thinks Kevin Samuels did more destruction than anything else to the black community. And listen, my only question to Dr. Umar would be, is this you? around all through your 20s stop around all through your 30s you give your 20s to the street negroes okay you give your 30s to the pretty boys they use you up dog you out now you're in your 40s damn and nobody's jumping to marry your ass and so now you're saying it ain't no good black men no 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 there's plenty of good black men Facts. the problem is you gave your best years to men who didn't deserve it the problem <laughs> is you gave your best years <laughs> <laughs> oh man yo hold on <laughs> God damn it. you can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up let's keep listening to men who didn't deserve it and now you see your biological clock is ticking hmm. wait but didn't you just say that age doesn't matter this is what women love people they love, <sighs> women can't help but support. Because I haven't read the comments yet, but I already know there's a bunch of women on there going, yes, yes, King, preach. But this man is contradicting himself because here he is definitely implying that a woman has a time period at which she can secure the highest value male she can attract, and it's largely dependent on her SMV, sexual market value. And... If she's 40 years old, and in Dr. Umar's words, gave her best years to the streets, to Pookie, then you're, dude, you're saying the same thing that Kevin Simons was saying, brother. Let's keep listening. And your beauty clock. See, you got a biological clock. How long you can have those babies? And you got a beauty <laughs> clock. How long you gonna be looking good? A biological clock? How long you gonna have them babies? And, and a, a beauty, beauty clock. clock? How long you gonna be looking good? And guess what? When you hit those 40s, don't get me wrong, black don't cry. Yes, but it everybody's does. But de everybody declines. All right, guys. Um, you can check out that video for yourself. Search Dr. Umar tells black women to stop belonging to the streets. That was released seven months ago. Right. I was on it. Coffee Pod was on it. And so here are the contradictions. You see it for yourself. 
But now let's check out these comments and see what the people have to say in response to Dr. Umar. First comment here comes from a woman and it says, he was talking to single women that were trying to get men. You gotta keep it real and call a spade a spade. Wait, kid. hold on a second. Is this some coffee? Let's get reading. She goes on to say, women need to know men's perspective because if you don't, you will be the 50 slash 60 year old woman getting left for a younger woman or never catching a man at all. Wow, what a brilliant, beautiful woman. Yes, just based on this um, paragraph. She goes on to say, I didn't make the rules. I'm just saying his platform had its place. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Drink the coffee, we love to see it. But unfortunately, there are others. Like this chick who responded and says, this is all BS. It doesn't matter what you have or what you have going on. A man's gonna be a man. <laughs> what she means by this is, it doesn't matter what you do, a man's gonna cheat. So that's when KS would say, die alone. If you have a problem with who men can potentially be or problems that may arise in a relationship, go talk to God. If you have a problem that men value physical appearance, um, your purity over what you have in your bank account and your agrees, go talk to God. Men do not make the rules and they definitely cannot change their makeup like you can, right? Pun intended. Next comment here comes from a woman and it says, I totally disagree. I'm a black woman and I loved and agreed with his content. It seems to me the only people that really loathed him, I'm assuming that's supposed to say, were the people who fit into the description of the woman he criticized. Um, another woman responded back to that woman and says, please advise when you have received your ring as a high value woman. Oh, these women are fighting over here, but isn't this great to see? Not the fight, but the women who have not lost their minds. Another chick here says, and the emphasis on how good you look and how much you make. 29 likes. Another chick responded back to her and says, it was actually the women who made the emphasis on how good they looked and how much they made. Come on! Way to come through, ladies. Way to come through. Kevin was trying to show them that didn't matter. Come on. Another person here says, I disagree. Have respect for Umar. However, I feel like he was brutally honest and sometimes we need a brutally honest person. Not too many. Exclamation marks. Somebody should let you know the deep, unfiltered truth. You know, they always say that like, a person's truly never appreciated until they're gone. I mean, this comment section obviously proves that. There are people who came around after some time. There are people who needed the message to sit down and kind of marinate before they fully embraced it. Listen, the first time I stumbled on like Manosphere content, RP content, and I heard someone like Alpha Male Strategies talk about, listen, if your woman is disrespecting you, that's your fault, right? Or if um, you're not getting the results you wanna see in your dating life, that's your fault. And some of you may say, what do you mean they're disrespectful women out here? But what he meant by that was, you shouldn't even be dealing with that type of a woman. Why does she feel like she can disrespect you in the first place? Why are you even spending time with that. At that point, I didn't understand, you know, masculine energy, feminine energy, that there are women out here with masculine energy. And I argued against that. Eventually, I learned that I have things I needed to work on myself. Why was I being disrespected? Why was I spending more time chasing after women instead of focusing on my purpose as a man? It took some time. All right. And here we are today. Listen, guys, as always, curious to know what you guys thought of this video and topic comment down below. I appreciate you for checking out another episode of Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.